Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So just a quick video today. This is the Earsheen HV140. Now, I probably will do another video on this at some point to show you it flying and stuff, but I wanted to do a video to tell you about this. So I've had this about oh, three or four weeks now. Uh, and it's a 140HB, HB meaning it runs on a 6S LiPo, so on the top of here I have got a GNB, I think it's a 450, is it? GNB 550 on the top of here, so a couple of things. So, one of the minor things it comes with, it comes with a battery strap that goes under the top plate here, or two battery straps to hold your battery in place. Does not fit a 6S battery, there's no 6S battery on the market that would fit in them straps. So you're going to have to take the strap out, the only way to take the strap out is to take the top plate off, which is an annoyance to say the least. Now that should have given me an inkling on the other problem this was going to have. This does not run on 6S. It's got a 6S battery in here, as soon as you pump it hard or give it full throttle for more than a second, it will drop out of the sky. Either the AC or the motors can't take the voltage. Uh, there's also do a 220 HV version of this, same problem again, 6S battery, won't handle it. So, if I fly this at around 80, if I set my throttle to 80% max, I can fly this around, provided I'm not on the, I'm not at 80% all the time. Uh, if I fly it around, if I, if, but I can peak at that and I can obviously do flips and rolls. If I fly it on a 4S, it flies absolutely fine, problem is, it's not very good on 4S, it's just bang average to say the least and there's a lot of other stuff around better than this for around the same kind of money that will run on 4S. It's hugely disappointing, hugely disappointing quad. They've got it badly wrong with this and um, the reason for this video, it's only a quick one, is just to advise people if you're looking at buying this and you want it to run on 6S just don't get it because you're going to be very disappointed. If you want one to run on 4S and that's what you're after and you're not bothered about having really decent speed then maybe this is thing to go to, but I don't even think the flying characteristics of this thing are particularly good. It's okay, but it, it's just average. And I, I don't know what it is, £105 or I think I paid for it, something like that. I, I think I got it on offer at that point. It just isn't worth the money. The construction's quite nice of it, the frame's nice and thick, it has underneath here some an LED light strip, so inside here, if you can see there's two LEDs. When they light up, they make this strip light up, and this strip hasn't got bulbs in it, it's just a, it's just something that can take the light to pass through it, and it lights up quite nice. Why you'd have that, I don't know, just a gimmick to me, and it doesn't look like it's going to stain very easily either. It looks pretty poorly staining. The camera's quite decent on it, it's a Foxier camera inside here, and it does look quite decent. I'll just show you the rest of the frame. So, as you can see, it's covered in grass because it spends more time on its back. But it's running on 6S. And the other thing that I don't like about this is there's no way to put your receiver. It's just too tight inside the stack to get your receiver anywhere. So I've had to put my, my XM Plus on the side. I've just got a bit of tape over the top of it there. But I've had to put it on the side. I suppose I could have got it inside there. But then I'd have had to bring my wires up a different way and strip the whole thing down to get a receiver in. Which isn't the best in my opinion it's not good at all the other thing that I don't like about this if you look at this they haven't even bothered manufacturing it very well if you can see two of the wires go one side of the pillar one go the other so it's stretching the center wire and on the other side it's right small thing but it's just not the best made as I say the frame feels quite nice it's a unibody it's got all the features you'd expect on this thing and it does fly Average. That's the best example. It. It's not horrendous. It doesn't. It doesn't have any bad tendencies. It's just average and boring on a 4S lipo. On a 6S, I can't tell you because I can't get the benefit. If I'm running at 80% throttle, I'm not getting anywhere near enough out of this. So, one to avoid. Um, certainly for me, anyway. There's people. Maybe people are having more success out there, but I'm all. It's not just me that's having this issue, I've seen Andy RC's video and Stuart from UAV Futures. Both of these give quite a damning result, verdict on this thing. So, disappointing, one to avoid. Thanks very much for watching, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.